Hey, good morning everyone. We know it's been a long time since we've done a house build update video, but we're finally ready to show you what we've been up to. We've got so much to show you, but first let's get a little serious. Did you know two out of three guys will experience male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? We want to thank today's video sponsor, Keeps. If you didn't know, Keeps is a subscription service that provides product that can combat hair loss and improve hair growth. Keeps has clinically proven treatments that combat the symptoms of hair loss. And what's great about Keeps, once you subscribe to the service, it's delivered right to your door, so no lineups at the pharmacy. You have 24 hour, seven day a week access to medical advisors that work with you to help you reach your hair growth goals and to answer any questions you may have. Isn't that right, little buddy? The best part is when you use keeps.com forward slash Ostacruiser, you'll receive 50% off your first order, which is super awesome. So if you want to reverse the effects of hair loss, you know what to do. Click the link in the description. All right. Okay, so remember when we thought we had in-cabinet lighting and then we thought we only had under-cabinet lighting and then we discovered we had both? So Mrs. Us had just wired it up. So we shut these lights off just for maximum effect. We did it in stages. Wow. That's a lot good. It looks so good. It's awesome. Great. No, it's perfect. So cool. So um, yeah, she basically just ran all the lights up there. Uh, well, this I'm gonna, evening. I'm, I'm going to change what's in there. Like right now, we don't have space, but I'm going to put like decorative stuff in there. But those bowls are really nice. Some, some, some. Anyways, okay, so turn on every light we have now. Oh my God. Ready? Every light? Yeah. Okay, this one's high, this one's high. <laughs> yep. This one's like blinding you. I don't think you You could have turned that one on there. Boom. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, yeah, that one doesn't wait, really count. Wait. Okay, one more. Wait. Okay, wait, wait. ready? We just did this too. This is an Amazon thing. <laughs> but it works. They work really good. Woo! <laughs> when you open up the... When you open up the doors, it's, it's their little uh, rechargeable battery pack LEDs, and uh, they're on a little motion sensor. So it's perfect for their... No, it's super bright. Oh, it looks so good. The cabinets look freaking awesome. I'm going to so, take a couple pictures. The same thing that we did in that closet is going to go underneath the cabinets oh, yeah. too. Kick, so when kick you plates. walk in the room, yeah. it'll light up. So yeah, you have lights. Come on. Yeah, we'll put, uh, we'll pro probably put a couple strips on there or else just one strip on here maybe. Something. We'll figure it out. But yeah, hey, they're hey, really, buddy. really inexpensive. This is my... Grandma's clock from Holland. It was broken and we had to take it to the jewelers and get it fixed. And we finally figured out okay, so if it's 10 after or 25 after 8, 22 after. So I can't remember if that's exactly what we said. We'll see in the morning if it's how good time it keeps, but it's working. And then here we go. This is my marketplace find. <laughs> no marketplace. But look at stuff. look at how cool. It is super cool inside. It's like Maps. Yeah, pretty cool. Slippers so slippers, visit. slippers and stuff going and there. It's actually really It's super. Solid. Uh, yeah, it's super solid. So I was standing on it to mount that. The so last thing. Oh yeah, is, is our the blinds and, and our mirror. Yeah. Mirror. So the blinds. God, the blinds. What a. It's sure taking a long time, but they're finally here. So we're just coordinating like to get them installed, here. and then our barn, our barn track mirror is gonna look really cool there too. So, but but man, we're getting really close to being done here. And it looks freaking fantastic. It is bright in here. I feel like I Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take a couple pictures.
excited. And don't tell me that not one of you have not done this in your lifetime, but like hung up blankets over your window. Because I am so not an early riser. So this is my fix for um, while uh, we were just in, in uh, between. So I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, we all do it. But you know what? This is the day that we actually get our blinds. So we're going to start this video with this part of the video. But yes, I'm excited. So you can go out in the living room as well and show everybody what it looks like pre-blinds. And then what it's It's so like funny now. for so long. We've never really even looked out these windows because they've been covered, and of course, the upstairs windows are epic. Yeah, like my mom and dad's. You have a nice away. view, and they're like, "Oh, it's so nice up there." I'm Look like, at that really? snow out there; it's crazy. Oh, don't you? <laughs> you just did. <laughs> <laughs> so Mrs. Austin spent last night getting making sure everything was all clean and tidy and got all the stuff taken off the windows so all these windows and the windows upstairs will be done and we'll have to wait to do the patio windows so this will be a separate thing just like powered blinds they are expensive <laughs> so we're just doing uh i think six windows today so they should be here pretty soon and another exciting thing is we get our uh starlink internet installed so i'm freaking excited about that oh that mirror turned out so good I'm still thinking it's slightly high, so I might have to patch and bring it down eventually. No, but we're going to build perfect. a little table there with a yeah. live edge and then the kitchen table too. But that's another project. Yeah. But yeah, oh, I think I think with a little, uh, yeah, like a little skinny table right there, it'll be perfect. With a couple knickknacks on there, patty wax. It is in here. Holy yeah. And it's like not really even a sunny day. We haven't seen the sunlight down the way. Yeah. So it's now we will actually get to day. go like this and push a button. So that's one of the other things that's happening today is so we've been working with Sure Innovations from Saskatoon and they've automated almost everything in the house um, from your blinds to your lights to your TVs. So we're going to talk to them. So you have this little remote and you can do pretty much everything you want. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, they're gonna come and fix this up and finish it up today. I'm excited as all heck. So yeah. All right, guys. So the guys from Sure Innovations are here and they're just putting on our Starlink. So it's kind of hard to see, but <laughs> it goes straight up. So once they power it on, it'll automatically find what satellites it needs. So maybe we'll catch a bit of video of that. But we ordered a pipe adapter mount so we could mount it right on top of that so hopefully that thing's strong enough for everything so once they power it on we'll see okay so finally we got everything up and going look at that for an initial speed test so that is about 20 times faster upload <laughs> and about three times faster download so like i said that's just the initial stuff so it might get a little quicker but even if it just stays at that i'll be so happy it'll be so much easier to upload videos now that is freaking awesome. So it took a little bit, um, I'm not sure, uh, it took a little bit for the satellite to kind of, or the dish to kind of find its satellites, I guess. I guess you can't see from in here. But uh, yeah, she's all she's all set up. We've got a little bit of snow coming down and uh, it's working. So they're just patching that all in. So they got a couple blinds up so far. Once they're done, we'll, guys, we'll show you guys the, the power function, but that's gonna look a lot better than cardboard and nine dollar walmart drapes so so far so good all right so they're just setting up the blinds so just setting endpoints up and yeah, setting upper the and lower limit, the lower limit nice. and then making sure it's just enough so that you can sleep at night oh let's go 100 percent light so let's go all the way up and see if our upper limit is gold that's way better than cardboard <laughs> I, I liked your bed sheets before. Up yeah, there. yeah. Canadian flag, Saskatchewan flag, yeah. Mexican flag. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> good. Okay, that one's done. Let's move on to the next one. Nice. Actually, let's bring it down all the way. There we go. Yeah. There we go. How clear as it is. Awesome. So, um, it's really cool. So you can control this through your remote, through a phone, and also just through Google. You just say, 
if you're in the master bedroom, it picks up the speaker, the microphone in the master bedroom. So you don't even have to say what room you're in. So you just say, hey, Google, open the blinds. Boom. Once it's set up, it's not set up yet. They're still working with it. But yeah, you just say, tell it to open blinds and boom, you open, it can open the blinds. <laughs> Good. Just blah, 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 blah. So they're just doing um, the ones, these ones look like they're set. And then the ones upstairs. That looks way better than cardboard and bed sheets. <laughs> it was a long time coming, but it was worth the wait for sure. Okay, ready? This is a romantic setting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looks way brighter on the camera. It's actually much dimmer in here. So this is half. Camera struggling. Just kidding. They're nice and quiet anyways. So now the thing that you can do, oh, and look I'll, it. it's we'll snowing. have to do it in a different video, is you can actually set it's it snowing. for morning. So oh yeah, at a certain time. Yeah, boom, it opens the blinds. So, so <laughs> when Mr. Osterhuller says, shoot the, 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 the load off, it's blinding. I'm just gonna open the blinds and be like, oh, it's morning. <laughs> How do I say it? Nothing. It's pretty, on. pretty disrespectful. <laughs> he does get mad at me though if I turn the light on. So she just, like, the with no warning, just blast the lights on full power, even though you could put them on dim. But whatever. No, it's that's not. fine. It's fine. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Two weeks later. Okay, this is the master behind Pine Metals here. Yeah, no kidding. He's also, <laughs> he's also pretty weird. <laughs> It's got that little kink on it up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There. Excellent. There's your two quick thing. Excellent. Now, one more. No. <laughs> the other side. The other side. I can't yeah. cut that. I can't, Tom. I can't cut it. I will never do as good a job. It will what? come out all gross. So, anyway, so since we got our, uh, this is a black oak blind in the master bedroom. Um, hey, Google, close master bedroom blind. You'll see, so there's all this light comes in at the edge. So Mrs. Austin is a super light sleeper. So it's just like the sun comes up at 5 a.m. So she's like racking her brain. What can we do? What can we do? So Tom, the genius, bends this is at a tin. So the blind slides, it goes up and down right in that channel. So when it's in there, it completely blocks all that. She's really, really excited. <laughs> Okay, I got everything in. Ready? Hey Google, close master bedroom blinds. Garbage pit out there. So it rides in nice, doesn't really rub on anything. And when it's closed, so much darker. So it was so much light. So Mrs. Austin can uh, set the bottom stop so it can come down a tiny bit more. So it'll, it'll even get rid of that too. But it's literally a thousand times better than it was. <laughs> it would light up this whole room like with this door closed. Dark. Hey Google, open master bedroom blind. So really, really, really good job. Right now, crossing my fingers. This is nerve wracking. Because every once in a while, you put a brad nail in just like, like right there. So what they do is when they come in, they kind of curve around. So I'm just- If they hit a notch or something. So if you if that happened, it could totally take the whole But they never out. ever go straight in. That's how they hold so well, is they actually uh, go in and then curve up. Well, no, not really. That's they don't hit knots and stuff but that's how charlie said that's how they hold mm. think about when you pull them out they come out straight okay <laughs> yeah no kidding don't get so zealous oh on the nails, on the nails. <laughs> all right so yeah there you go done we just have to hang it on the wall but alakazam there you go easy Old barn wood from our old buildings from the Ready? homestead. Here's how it looks. Ooh. 
Is it solid? Oh yeah. Feels good? Yeah. Really so good. it's kind of funny. Barnwood is so awesome. Because where's a piece? Here we go. So this is like a perfect little groove so that you can put the mirror in there. It's just awesome. So yeah. So you ever want to make some uh, handy dandy little side pieces? Here, hold this. I'll go get There's my legs. <laughs> okay. So we got the brackets on. So kind of funny thing is we had our brackets going this way, but they're a course right in the way where we had to put our bolts through. So we just flip those around. Now look at that looks freaking awesome. So we just got to mount the rails on the wall and then we have just enough clearance here. Whoops, sorry. Clearance here to fit that rail. We moved this up as high as we could, but obviously I didn't want to go too much higher because we're going to run out of wood. It's, so it's just going to be snug. <laughs> okay, so we'll get that on the wall and then we'll show you guys mounting it. That's the sweet sound of a stud. So, so far we hit three studs. So it doesn't really matter if that one hits the stud or not. We still have to put the leg bolt in for looks, but we are strong. You could hang off this. Okay, I'm not sure how this is work. Oh boy. You're gonna have to go from one end to the other, I thought. Maybe. Oh Maybe boy. Oh, oh, I don't know. Your side's not on. On the, the left side's not on, I don't think. They're both on, but. Oh, oh, it's not. I see, see it. it. I see it now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. I gotta roll it on. Careful, don't hit my wall. That's painting that I don't want to do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Also, it falls off the other side because there's a measure right Don't say it. Oh, no, you're not on. Oh. I'm right here watching. Okay, so. okay, okay. Oh. Holy! So we got to put those bumpers on so it doesn't just Holy! Fall That's so perfect. Okay, how far away is it from the wall? Do I need a little felt? Probably. Hey? You don't, but it's almost like you need this to. Do you think? Yeah. Well, no. If I put a couple felts, it'll just sit away from the wall. Yeah, but you need a way because it naturally hangs out way too far. So I say, all you got to do is find, you know, put a laser on Stud. and put one. Even the two inch. Did you inch, hear that? I called you a stud. A two, two inch brad nail. Because it's got to go like that. Because when you walk in, it sticks out way too far. Okay, we'll figure that out. Yeah, that looks awesome though. Look at that. You, it's like, what is it called? Reusing or? Repurposing? Repurposing. Recycling? Repurposing. I love repurposing. Yeah, and I wanted to bring awesome. part of the heritage of this piece of land into come, our house. So there you go. Come show the part where I stepped on it and broke it off. Mm. I don't want to see it. Of course, everyone's going to see it as soon as you walk in. Oh, it was it was so so frail anyways. If someone, I, I'm going to have to put a little bit of um, gray stain on, so it's okay. Yeah. I'll if someone you. sneezed close, that would have fallen. I'll forgive you. It looks awesome. Boom. Okay. Freaking awesome. So is this the is this the end then? There. Now you can show. Oh, no. We can't end it. She, she's trying to video call her sister before we even had anything done. Now <laughs> you can show Okay. It. The, um, what's, what are you called? A pain in the bum? Yep. Okay, so she's making sure that we're doing everything correctly. And this guy is helping me finish stuff. And <laughs> we won't talk anymore about that. But anyways, we're Okay, gonna... we're just finishing the bottom of this Cause... so that we can do our under cabinet lighting. So see, this is what it looks like. It's gotta be all finished. So I glued, I, I got everything cut. I put glue on everything. So we're just gonna uh, those blue pieces of tape are so he knows where to nail. By the way. Oh yeah, so I know exactly because I only have three. But four here's slots. the finished piece. Oh. oh. Just dropped all this. And then we're gonna put under cabinet lighting on, and then Dayton, just for Dayton, we're gonna turn the switch on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Get this in place, okay. and then we'll show you after. Okay. Did what I, happened? You got a plumber's crack? Did I get shown? No. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> now we're just using. Oh, what? Missed. <laughs> Freaking 23 gauge. The 23 gauge nailer is like a finishing nailer. It helps like really, really. I'm sure at this far into the episodes, they know about <laughs> The DeWalt finishing <laughs> nailer. <laughs> and this DeWalt light. Okay, sorry. And oh, what's in our cabinets? You can see. There you go. We use Resolve. <laughs> <laughs> so I put a bit of glue on this too, so the. Nails are just kind of hold it while the glue dries. 
So we're gonna get a little piece of trim to go on the back so you can't see all the like. Yeah, so yeah, like see that little hole? That's where the little voltage wire comes through the drywall. So we're gonna just put a piece of trim back there so that'll be all finished. So and look, then can you see decorate. underneath? It looks so awesome. But we're gonna da -da. Oh, so that LED much nicer. light makes it hard. Yeah. Can you see better now? There you go. So everybody, we're gonna put some under cabinet lighting. There's the wire, so yep. I'm gonna finish so that up now. Tuck in just behind that. And then the handy dandy switch that has been blue taped just so we don't yeah. use it. <laughs> yeah, it's been taped. That's gonna be a momentous occasion. Your momentous occasion. Okay, so we're almost done and uh, we'll get this finished up. One of the things that we found with these lights um, is- So weird. You know, you, you can cut wherever the copper tabs are is where you can cut it. And <clears throat> what, three times now? Yeah. Out of the four we've done, we hook them up and you just push these little prongs into little copper tabs, turn on, nothing works. Here, I'll show real close up. Yeah. So those little- tabs there you can see where the prongs went so we turn them on and you can just see the slight flicker of light maybe it's, see look at this one see how it's like oh, it's kind what? Of so where the cut line is what maybe if though? you have to cut back right? I don't no know. it's on the other side of the cut line anyways anyway we turn them around stick it in clamp it boom it works ready so ready Ooh, it's so we so just great. gotta peel it off stick it up and we're good Okay, I'm gonna help because it's hard to do on one person. Yo, 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 welcome to MTV, <laughs> MTV Laundry Rooms. All right, so let's get, this is the house right here. I mean, really, like it's done. <laughs> okay, so now we got the cabinets finished, the, the countertop finished, all homemade by us, by the way, just saying. And, wha bam <laughs> I mean, talk about, and, we did that. Okay? We did that. Good so, work. Yeah. Good work. So it turned out so freaking sweet. But yeah, so I'm going to do a couple little finishing touches. But yeah, like this is kind of the idea. I wanted to like put my own personal uh, twist into the house and I kind of think we did that. Yeah. This, so, little, this little bathroom is so cute. We're going to do a full reveal once we're kind of closer to done. But there's still little things that we got to finish. Yeah. But everything, like even the trim, everything, everything turned out so good. The crown molding. I really like the vents. The contrast of the darks and the wood. Yeah. And the light I'm walls. so glad we went with the light walls. Thank it you, just, Tim Cloverdale paint. Yeah, totally. It just makes all the wood just look that much cooler. And doesn't, you know, doesn't darken the whole room too much. It's still a really nice light room. So, so Heshi cabinets and uh, special shout out edge. to this mirror that almost fit. We just Winners. had we just had to cut off that side. Because I couldn't take it, man. It had to be centered, and I couldn't take it that it wasn't centered, so. Also, I just want to say that I'm not that type of person, like, one and done. I have to, like, so little little accent pieces were all me going on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, yeah. And then finding she these She's had some winners, things. and she's had some losers. Shut up, me. So there's lots of cool winners. Hey, what do you mean? What's losers? So You've had some losers. <laughs> some of those lights. <laughs> Bye. Oh, yeah, our special little... uh Toilet paper roll holder. Yes. Yeah, and what is this thing called? The dispenser thing? We made all those out of pipe. I don't know. What are they called? I don't know. But like. That's oh, a toilet paper okay, roll holder. Okay, let's go upstairs. We'll show some more. Okay, stuff. yeah. You guys haven't seen upstairs. Okay, so we. Uh, we already talked about this the other yeah, day in the video. But, but we're not finished. Yet. We were going to get the inch and a quarter pipes threaded in town, but they wanted 15 bucks per end. So I said, screw it. So I ordered inch and a quarter <laughs> pipe threader. <laughs> so that's coming in a couple days. Get and out of the. The, the general away. contractor is here to inspect everything. So that's going to work. It's going to look super cool and it's going to work super cool. So. so see, just like that, you can make your own toilet roll holders. You can make your own handrails. You can make anything with pipe. Simple. And this place is a effing mess, but I can't wait till we're done. And all this gets cleaned up. Oh, this is all construction and that done too. And then we have a whole third of our shop that's right now not being used. This will be able to be used yeah can't clean up till we're done the patio so even though we still got lots of room here it is a freaking mess no no so you guys haven't seen up here for a while it's it's pretty much it's pretty much done and it looks so cool oh yeah the light dang cut hey it's time for a house tour never mind this and this oh no 
just just take in what I made. Okay. This is awesome. Put this together. Isn't that freaking cool? Matt gave us a Michigan. The Mackinac Bridge, Michigan plate, which was only available for a couple years with the white letters because they were very hard to read, he told me. So they changed to black letters. So that is a very, that is a very uh, hard to get plate. This is a plate off Nick's S10 truck, very fast S10 truck with like some kind of V8 in it. So that's very cool, thank you Nick. And then also Matt gave us a little motorcycle plate. And then we got all the guys to sign side by side blog shirt. Should I go like this? And this is awesome, put it all in a cool shadow box for me, super awesome. All right. Nick, Sorry about your razor, but well, I've got to show you guys upstairs. All right, let's we do We finished this. the railing. Doesn't the railing look so good? Oh yeah, it's also this too. I don't, I don't know if we got any video putting this together. For those people that This wasn't my fall. favorite thing to do, so I don't know if we did any video. <laughs> he was gritting his teeth. There's some white powder. But we used this this rail kit is for a straight up and down, so it was, it was a little difficult to get all this proper, but it all worked out and it's super sturdy. And if you ever want to, if, you, if you're going to fall, it's going to save your life. I might have got the junk in the background just now. Oh, that's okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right. yeah, we finished up the railings. Remember I was telling you guys, we added this little block in so that we could get this perfectly lined up. This is also left a little Lego Easter egg here. <laughs> and we just, we just, we just painted these ourselves, wiped them all down with brake cleaner cleaned them all up they weren't really rusty didn't have to sand them much and we just coated them all right. so if they ever get scuffed up we could just coat them again all right you guys ready to see upstairs we Super are ready cool. <gasps> Ta-da! Right. we got the light done so games room boom boom so miss austin made a very good point we really want the light about here but we totally ran out of wire that's as far as we could drop it down with that wire so we're gonna have to rewire it if we want it down here. All right, but, we but for billiards light, it's gotta be a little lower. So we got the cues and the balls and all the scoreboard, all that mounted, all that went really good. And of course, then... you guys remember the video games from Retro Arcade? That's super fun. House of Dead, super fun shooting game. Uh, we've got a little bit of furniture here and there, basically picking away at. These are these are okay. This is cool. I got that. <laughs> it's an old about... steam trunk. Talking about the Facebook Marketplace finds. There's yes. one of them. There's right there. One of them. There's one of them. There's another one of them. Yeah, and then this... there's another one of them. Ah? <laughs> and then there's my sister getting rid of furniture. So yeah, these... and it's super comfortable furniture. So and honest. Thank you, Chris and Heidi. And honest, it's so hard to get furniture. Totally. It took our son eight months. Yeah. To yeah. Get a, to get a coach. So and we we got it. It's a little bit different than what I would have put in, but that's okay. Yeah, we use the fireplace a ton. Um, this winter that actually throws out a ton of heat. That's so that why it's not on right now because it's actually 24 in Yeah, there. yeah, we had the air conditioning turned way down up here and it was like hot So I turned the air conditioning on so we got all the blinds in so those work really great. Okay, here. so it's pretty cool because um, Say people come over to stay and it's kind of a pain for them to download the app and everything But we so we have this little cheap little tablet up here and you can control everything right from the tablet And they don't have to log in or anything. Yeah, totally. Which they can so they can individually use it But because this is oh here we go see So that is the games room side and then that is the bar side So they're two separate um, things but you can actually set it up which I have on there is a scene And so they all go down and I'll go up at the same time if you want and you could say good night and that's the and then, scene. Yeah, and then they all close. So what's really nice is having these closed during the day, then the sun's not being in here and warm air, because we're on the second floor, right? Heat rises, so having the shades closed during the day and at night, because if the lights are on and the shades are open, you could see right in here, so. But yeah, they did such a good job. Sure Innovation did such a good job of installing all that. It's all set up, it's all working really good. We're gonna do a so, review on that in a different video. Oh yeah, totally. And can am clock. We finished these lights. We don't really show the install of these lights. So the only thing that we might change, does this bug the heck out of you guys? Yes. This light should be here, correct? Yeah. So, so we're going to have to run some sort of box and then we'll mount that in the middle of the box. We'll have to do the math. You can do a little, you can do a little thing later when it's done and be like this. Yeah, totally. That's what we need right here. Like <laughs> if anyways, you... Anyways, move that over. But it's so nice to have a bit more light up here with a few lights. And I like how light. the bar is fully stocked. Yeah, totally. And <laughs> a lot of this is people. We don't. We don't really drink too much. A lot of this is people come. 
They come over for a visit, they bring the booze, they leave it. Well, here, it's, for, it's ready for and them for next time. show everybody the Can-Am glasses. Oh, yeah, man. We got the coolest glasses out of the Can-Am catalog, you guys. We got these really cool beer glasses. I don't even glasses. think they make them anymore, so. Yeah, really. It might be kind of tough to get your hands on those. Oh, and then the 4-H, when they came and, they came and visited, they get, brought us these really cool little 4-H cups. Pretty cool. And then when McDonald's had Coca-Cola cups, Mrs. Austin made me go there all the time. That's where all this came from. That's all from her. <laughs> to get these special Coca-Cola cups. But we got so, some cool cups up there too. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at this thing. And one night, maybe when the Cyber Side blog come up to visit, we'll crack this baby open. <laughs> Woodka. That was actually for the Russian visitors yeah, that yeah. came a few years back, but they didn't want to take it in their luggage, so it stayed with us. Yeah, stayed so with it'll us. hang on the wall. So spare bedroom, you guys seen in the last video, we built the bed, that's been working really good. We had a few people stay over. They really, really like it. It's comfortable, nice size room. Again, control the blind from in here. Then we got our uh, pass-through closet, oh, which right we can't, now- we can't show that. Ah, uh, whatever, oh, it's got a bit oh. of junk in it. This is the, it's got a bit of storage. the patio TV in here, oh, yeah. waiting to go downstairs. Yeah, yeah. And the bathroom, everything in the bathroom, is, it worked out really there great. There we go. The lighting. So, if you come to visit, you can have a steam shower. Yes. Thermosol is a uh, very, very, awesome. very comfortable shower. And the steam shower, we use the one downstairs. I use it all the time. It, it works. It's not, I don't know if it's quite as good as a hot tub, but it's, it's, it's close. It's different benefits versus a hot tub, but I really love a good steam, like good 20 minutes of steam. Detoxer. Real and then, nice. and then this is what the other light will look like. Oh yeah. So. Didn't that turn out so good, you guys? Kind of. Kind of a, a briefing of what it will look like when it's done. The, the one over the bar she's talking yes. about. So that'll help us center that light in that in that position there. So again, everything in here is really nice. The mirror, we found that at Winners. Yes. And it works just perfect for the space. Nice wide mirror. I wish I wish I'd have done vanity. more barn wood, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, it, These it's, it's cheap a, and fast. It's a nice it's a nice look. Contract. And this we brought from our old house. Yeah. It kind used this, to be like, in our old baby. Oh, Don't do it's it. Gonna it's going to break off. Oh, no. Okay, got it. how did that get bent? Yeah. Okay, so if you're ever gonna come and stay with us. Yeah, you can stay up here. Look at this. I have I have an obsession about taking like my shampoos when I go to hotels. <laughs> everybody that comes over gets their own little individual. Oh, and you can't see. Um, so. Oh, I think the battery's dead. Miss Lost mounted those under cabinet lights as well. So if it's dark at night and you walk in there, those lights turn on oh, at the, on go, the kick plates. Where's the light for the bar? No, under cabinet. No, turn it Oh, off. yeah. I so we did that. do a couple. Yeah. Awesome. Ta -da. We really went crazy. Can -am clock. Crazy with lighting because it's really nice to have lots of lights if you need it. And, and with with these ones turned off, it's still a really nice kind of ambiance up here. It's not like, you know, it's not as bright as downstairs, which is nice. That's what you want in the lounge, right? And this. There's going to be weights. So you see all this wall space, you guys, right here? This is going to be all Lego sets. Well, I don't know if I'll put them on In that wall. I'll put them on this that one. or that one. It's going to look so freaking cool. Can't wait. But yeah, anyways, upstairs is like 99% done. Like, it is awesome. It is awesome to come up here and just, you got, you got, you could watch two things at once. I don't know. Not for me. I'm ADD, we, we've so. had we've had a few visitors and they've all said it's been nice. Yeah, it's, it's really, you got it's your really own, nice and comfortable. You got your own fridge. You got yeah. a, a little hot plate if you want, like a induction countertop cooktop and then this thing actually cooks too so people could stay here forever did you, did you we could airbnb this i thing. installed this thing and it's like hieroglyphics like to try to we figure out how to we use won't it. try and figure it out right now but it's like a full you like, can cook oven. that chicken in there yeah so but like holy it's good you'd literally be reading the instruction manual so yeah that's that's it man yeah we just got to put some decorations on the walls and she's ready to party yeah all right you guys coming for the housewarming party We'll see you here. All right. Look at these guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, good morning, guys. So Mrs. Asta is cutting all our boards and we are starting framing up our counters. So we're starting on this side first. So we got everything laid out. Mrs. Asta kind of made a little drawing here. We got a 36 inch wood box and then two 32 inch compartments. And then this works out to about 33 inch for shelves. So we have two doors, two doors, shelves, and then an open wood box. So I got everything transferred to here. So obviously we have the end ones. And then here's where all our little, 
there'd be like little walls. So that's wood box, that's two doors, that's the shelves, that's two doors. So I got everything marked. So I'm just gonna start assembling. And then we just uh, made some spacers and we screwed everything to the wall. So it is freaking solid now. Holy, you could put the, the Renegade on that. So it'll be awesome. So we got that nice two and a half inch thick wood that we used. You guys see us make a couple countertops. We're going to do these long, beautiful countertops. Except we're not going to stain it so dark. We're going to stain it so you can see the wood more. Just saying, you can't take your RCs in here and start like driving. Oh, just make some sick jumps. Just ramps onto the top, over the TV and... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. That's pretty good for an hour and a half of work. So we got to do similar, but it's going to be different measurements over so, here. So, fridge, cabinets. Yeah. And then a little open one for like little drawers or bins or... Holy four? Well, crazy? the the fridge. That's five. Fridge. So maybe three. One and three, probably. It'll okay. look very similar to that. We yeah. should make it look similar. It'll be. It'll well, just it be. Won't, it'll look different because the fridge. Yeah. But. <gasps> can you? Can you just look at this? Can you just look at it? Holy look. snow! Oh man! Look, look at the at water's all, already going into the the, lake. the the water's like it's gonna be oh. It's gonna be so good this year. I haven't told you, but we're going for a short rip on Friday. Friday is plus eight, so we gotta get a couple hours. No, in, and then the snow will be gone. Hey, yep, it's work time. Yep, work time. Work time. Okay. All right, it's supper. <laughs> hey, good morning, everyone. So Mrs. Oss is in the kitchen, and she has something really exciting she wants to show you. Okay, so I got this because we live out here on the acreage, and I love to have fresh veggies. So I was super excited about this. So I actually just put this in last night. It's pretty cool. Like that was all this kind of stuff. Yeah, so it turns like a your mixture of everything. All your waste that you would just normally throw in the garbage it's and it turns in rich dirt. Yeah. So I've been stockpiling. I'm I'm kinda excited about this, but yeah. I'm stockpiling. So typically I'm gonna get a metal container to put this in, but I'm just kind of doing this because I wanted to show everybody how much like what are we doing this for a couple weeks now? Yeah. And just yeah. randomly. But I wanted to show everybody the cool different kinds of, of dirt. Yeah, it has make. it has three different modes. It has like loam approved mode, express mode, and grow mode. And each one gives you a little bit different product. So you can throw this into your compost bin if you don't like that that kind of rough feeling. But you can also literally leave this in and throw another batch in and turn it on the extra. Yeah, totally. Too, so and it'll it's grind. Cool. But anyways. It doesn't really grind it, but it just transforms it from that it kind of dries it out and basically keeps all the nutrients but gets rid of the moisture is what it does i'm gonna grow some patty pan squash and i'm telling you guys right now great like I oh love, barbecued are so good like what and i'm yeah. like you slice it you put a little bit of oil salt pepper throw it on the barbecue it tastes like meat i'm telling yeah, you it's so awesome. good so good but anyways so i'm excited about this because we're going to grow all this and i'm going to use that in this room which is when we're done yet. when we're done it's gonna be the excellent growing room because just so many windows, right? It's like almost like a freaking greenhouse in yeah, here. Yeah, so this is exciting because stuff's gonna go in here and then that deck is gonna go there. If anybody has any <laughs> ideas for me, that deck, I want it to look You guys, wait, we, we got, I'll, I'll show you guys in the next like minute. We got this whole like deck build drawn up and they made a cool little animation and it's, it's basically a, the, the groundwork of what we want and we give them our ideas and man, it's super cool. The only thing is prohibitive, I'm sure it will be cost, so. The last thing I wanted to say is Heshi did an amazing job. Oh, the that. kitchen turned out so like, beautiful. I can't say enough about how much they took what I wanted, like little details like this right here, this little X, and just threw it in there and made it happen and the color, that's hickory. So yeah. It was, I was like, I didn't. Yeah. Know. So, yeah. So it'd be like a hickory type color with all the knots and stuff. And then we wanted it stained dark. And he's like, Are you sure? <laughs> you know what? Not for everybody. But yeah. I absolutely love this finished product. So many like little details that are just awesome. I mean, obviously, I'm going to fix up a little bit of stuff with decorations. But other than that, wow. Love it. Love it. Love it. This is my castle. 
chandelier too. <laughs> we and and another thing is we use our kitchen every single day. Like Mrs. Austin doesn't. I, I love cooking. Yeah. I we, have food allergies too, so yeah. it's so much easier for me to make food. And you know what? That's my love language. Like when the kids have stuff, I always make like cookies and muffins. I'm just kind of obsessed with it. But I know it's not for everybody, but it is for me. So. So it looks great and it's very very functional as well. Yes. All right. So yeah. Hey, good afternoon guys. So, I really haven't, we have a video for a little while, but Mrs. Austin got a whole bunch of pine put on. So we're just uh, working on getting the kind of boxes built out. So that's gonna be the firewood box. And then, oh, I'm doing it, sorry. Then that's gonna be doors, two doors, three shelves, two doors on this side. So, oh, yeah. we're pointing with my middle finger. So we got the countertop, all the pieces cut. So we're gonna biscuit join all those, we're gonna stain it. Then we're gonna set the countertop on. And then this side, we gotta basically just do the same thing. But we have water lines coming here. And I think uh, Mrs. Asta wants those 90'd and she wants them to punch out that wall. So we have water out on this side. Oh, your bag's flowing, flying away. Cause this is where the deck and stuff's gonna be. And she wants somewhere, a garden here somewhere or planter boxes. So she wants some water on this outside wall out here. So I think we're gonna punch that through the wall there like that. So. We can get that kind of roughed in, but, oh yeah, I didn't see. You're both covered up. So when someone wants to rip these out. Someday never. But we did that on the, the roof. Too. On the roof, yeah. If you guys remember, if you guys watched the build videos from the beginning, just before they did the tin, we wrote Big Austin Cruiser and we went up there with the drone. It was so fun. That was such a, that was such a crazy time. Back then when stuff was just getting done like gangbusters. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways that's what we're working on today actually we're pretty much done for today because we got to take a little marley into the vet poor little girl so that's what that's what that's what we were working on today so a couple more days we'll have this done Never get any more dogs. and then we're gonna upload the house date house update video finally we're so sorry for taking so freaking long but we got lots to show you guys we want to make sure we got lots done so we had lots to show you guys so we'll see you then Ah, uh, sorry, Mrs. Austin, I had to turn your music off. <laughs> so she's putting a first stain on her first countertop for the patio. So she got it all sanded this morning. It looks freaking great and for... I know that it's not perfect, but it's perfect. It's, it's perfectly rustic. That's a... You guys, anytime you don't, you don't have stuff that's not 100%, you just call it rustic and then you're good to go. <laughs> no, but it turned out freaking sweet. It's going to look so good. With this stain, although I think that's a little darker than I wanted. Well, hold on, let's see. Oh yeah, you gotta rub it still. Oh, that's gonna look awesome. Yes, that looks good. Not quite as dark as the rest. I want it just a little lighter in there. That looks freaking great. Man, I can't wait to see when you get stained on this. I'll show you guys. When this thing gets stained out, nice little <laughs> burl or... Yeah, not really. I'm not really a big fan of burnt no, wood. It, gives it looks really the good. And lights is what yeah, you were looking for. it looks really cool. I'm happy, man. I had this clamp so tight, so this is the backside, so it doesn't matter. But those are the clamp marks. <laughs> so, <laughs> Crazy. Nobody okay? Thank you, Kim. And well, good paid for it, but yeah, yeah. But 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 she's, she's got so much experience. She's, she's, she's so good at picking of, colors and. Yeah. She's awesome at that. Okay, so she's all stained, all wiped off. Luna's perhaps taking a poop. <laughs> so that, that turned out pretty cool. Nice little dark spot. So the color will stay the same. It'll just look a little shinier, hey, with the, with the varnish on. Like right now it's got that dull kind of patchy yeah. look. Obviously it looks cool though. Soak in in them. Yeah. Once it's dry, you usually want to let it dry for days. Oh yeah. And then, you know, because it's got a uh, gas off. She's like, no, I got it. <laughs> hey, Luna. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So countertop one, getting closer to completion. It's going to look really cool when we set it in there. Okay, what are we doing? We're trying to cut this to size. Don't look at the mess. We had it all, all measured out. And the cut would have went here somewhere. But Mrs. Osta wanted to save this little thing. Isn't it nice? So we're doing an extra cut so cool to save as much as we can. So we, we squared this end off. We got yeah. everything measured up, lined up, clamped in. So I'm just about to cut this guy. One of these days the messes will be gone. 
I was gonna use the vacuum and suck the dust, but can't do that. Look at this. Solid. Whoa. Luna's at the... Let's see how hard our... our uh, oh. Luna's at the veterinarian today, so she can't be uh, here to... Make hey, that's her. not even the joint. That's the middle of the wood. Whoa. There's the joint. Whoa. So it's a pretty strong joint. We, we biscuit jointed it. There. Oh, and it still didn't break perfectly on the joint. It broke half into the wood. So, man, that joint is strong. And he was worried. All right. Perfect. So, and, and Luna's not sick. She's just getting fixed. So, no babies. She's getting, <laughs> she's getting her guts cut open. Oh, stop. All right. So, next. This one. Aren't they, like, so nice? They turned out so good. So, I know we're slower than most people, but we have a lot of stuff going on. But. We pulled them down the countertops. Woo. So you guys, when we made this countertop, it was it had a real twist in it. Like we even had trouble getting all the biscuits lined up. We should have done a little video. Per, per, this was like previous. I don't, it was so, like two and a half inches bowed up. I had to step on it. Plus we used that to weigh it down. So as I lifted it down, it mm -hmm. lifted the whole countertop up. So then we weighed it all down, and I put a leg bolt into here. So this is. <laughs> So this is but this is a solid base. With oh yeah, like a heavy thing. So totally, and it's and it's super solid. And then I just did some four inch uh, deck screws at the back and and at the front, so everything's down. So we have those four bolts to to suck it flat, and we got her like we got her so good this way and this way. So so what's C and D Construction's uh, tagline? It's good rustic. Enough. Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna do this side. This side turned out. It's not near as bad. Like if you look under here, like it is tight almost almost the whole way. So it's not near as bad of a of a curve. I don't think you have enough tools. But we're still gonna. You need all these <laughs> plus more. We're still gonna bolt it down. But what really sucks is I ran into these little washers. Hmm. So we're just gonna drill the holes right now. I'll show you how we did the other side. I think there's some in the shop. No, I looked. In those little drawers. Yeah. Don't yeah. Look. I don't have any flat washers. Look at Tons right here. Washers. Loamy is growing me plant, but you ready? These are the ones I started from the beginning. <gasps> Bam! Look at these things. I'm gonna put those in the garden. Okay, just drill down a little. And then just give I just a little a, love. A pilot hole in there just so nothing cracks. Okay. Vacuum roll and just drive it home. Okay. It's three cool. simple steps. Get that vacuum. Hang on. You do the hey, dishes. You, you guys remember back, like maybe the third, fourth episode when we were debating on center back versus <laughs> <laughs> Look who won. Smarty pants. Okay. Now we're just going to effing drive this baby home. Holy, you didn't have enough tools over here? You got four. One more, one hey, more. Hey, be gentle. I varnished This is that. tough as heck. Tough as nails? Six Holy, inch lag that bolts. is loud. It's really loud. You should have done. Okay, right there. You're gonna do a few moments later. So. <laughs> Also, what you guys don't know, why we need six inch leg bolts, this doubles as our tornado shelter. So in case of tornado. No, why don't you tell everybody the truth? This is your be bedroom when you're bad. Get in there. In case of tornado. Oh, so perfect. <laughs> Dobby. Hey. Uh, has like storm shutters that close here. No. We'll have like various juices. I don't think this is snacks. Gonna, it's not, we need like an underground bunker. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of nails poking through here. <laughs> yeah, it's a little dangerous. All right, so boom. Just like so, yeah, that. Three more times, then I'm gonna hit a few four inch deck screws, uh, front and back along the middle, just so nothing ever 
moves. And then, and then we just got to hey. like, if you see this side, Mrs. Has, has to finish all the pine. So we got to finish that side. And then she just has to make up her. Oh no, it's happening. <sighs> She's kind of come to the realization that we just got to use nice pine on we're the not, front. We're using and she could stain it some rustic. cool color. Instead of clinging to this dream that somehow she's gonna fall into this whole dump All truck the full barn of beautiful wood. barnwood, yes. that's never gonna happen. Good. But anyway, so as soon as she makes up her mind, we'll... okay, this is where we got to today. Pretty dang good. Holy, there was a lot of junk. So tomorrow morning, I'll just concentrate on this little area here, and I don't know. That's about it. I got an X3 to wash. Um, Wraith's got to get washed, but everything else is pretty clean. What a pile of junk there, but not too bad. Pretty good, pretty good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look how dirty the um, car wash bay door is because it has never been down. <laughs> so we just put all the wood, all the wood that was here, we put that in the car wash bay for now. So, but all in all, not bad, not bad. Hey, good morning, guys. So we are having some freaking visitors today. So me and Mrs. Austin spent the last two days well, not really two days. Maybe, well, yesterday and a bit today. So maybe in total, almost one day. But look at the shop. We got it so freaking clean. It was crazy. Cleaned up all this wood. We got it ready. So we're having a local 4-H club come over, a lot of kids. Planning on going for some rips in the Sherp, some rips in the X3. Just trying to get in. Uh... <laughs> Just watching my bros. Watch them wreck more machines. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Stop. <laughs> Hello, babies. Those little black ones are so skittish, eh? Yeah. Hey guys, if you can hear me, check this out. Ian is tilling up the front of our corner. So usually you would just direct seed, but there was so much second growth in that field. There's so much leftover, you know, like canola leaves and stalks and crap. So he's going to till it first and then he's going to seed it. Try to work some of that crap into the ground. Sorry. And then he's going to seed it. So awesome. It is a gorgeous day, a little windy, but it's dry enough where he can go in the bottom of that ravine there and not have any trouble. Sorry, the cell phone is not the best for long range shots. <laughs> awesome. So, it's been about, not quite two years, but close to two years. And uh, they peeled back this dirt in order to uh, build the, the house site. So now, you can take a bobcat and start uh, pulling the dirt back and kind of smoothing it out and I'm going to put some grass seed on there. But yeah, so I'm going to ask me to video this. It's pretty solid, eh? Ooh. There's just like a whole dirt. It's like a berm. Or like a or like a boat. <laughs> On either side of our house here, like that one's huge, obviously. But yeah, so put the dirt back, put some seed. It doesn't have to be fancy, just so the sand isn't uh, like blowing into the house anymore. Like literally every day, there's sand blowing at the house. So. Woo! There you go. This is a shitty spot to stand.
budget. What, three, that's three buck poles, four buck poles. So we probably got about 300 buck poles, maybe more. <laughs> grass growing in here. Keeps the dust down. These trees are all It doesn't seem to do much, eh? I guess that's why you need all the buckets. But this gravel will stay. This dirt will be grass someday. Yeah. There you go. Here comes the bucket. But I didn't hurt him at all. He just, he was in a whole bucket I you picked think, up. You think they're blind? I don't know. Ooh. I thought they had no hair. This guy's kind of cute. Yeah, but they make all those holes, didn't they? Oh, totally. They're a total menace. Look how good they dig, though. Look how fast. Yeah. Crazy. Here. Oh. Woo! Look at him. <laughs> Is he blind? It. I bet you they are, kind of. Now he's starting a new hole. He's like, I don't know what's up. I don't want to kill him. He's probably going to get killed when you start driving with the defender to, to level this all. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look at him kicking his feet. Yeah, like, <laughs> man, like, it take no time they're buried. All right. Get some progress here. I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe. This pile. Slow. Maybe have the equipment to do it, but soon that, so. This is all that's left, really. This is stuff I might use. And this is stuff, maybe some I might use. Woo! There. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, helicopter and it's snowing. Whoa, look at that chopper. Oh, out of focus. Yes. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell. It is windy and cold and snowing. <laughs> Woo, May 20th. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this pile is almost obliterated. Just keeping a few pieces. So we gotta get rid of the metal, separate pile. Wood, I'm gonna keep a little bit, make some cat houses, some bird houses, a couple little things. The rest will go away. And yeah, she's done. So excited. Thank God for the bucket. Helps a lot. See the river running, it's pretty. The trees are all budding out, so it's nice. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit gone there, a little bit more to go there. We've got some grass seed coming, it's a good day. All right, less than an hour, the pile is gone. Whoo, I'm sweating 
so warm right now. It's good though. It's thick. Gotta get rid of that thick. Nice. It's so exciting. I don't even realize. So, pile's almost gone. I'm just piling it up, cleaning it up. And then uh, we're gonna take this little metal recycle or take that to the steel recycler or whatever it is. It's all rebar and stuff. Don't want that getting in anyone's tires and stuff. Get that out of there. But yeah, it's looking so good. Okay guys, that pretty much brings us totally up to date on what we've got done so far. We are so close. It is a gorgeous sunset right now. You ready for this? Beautiful. So yeah, we got all this spread out. Um, so the rest of this pile, I'm just going to try to feather that way down the hill. All that stuff. So that'll all be, it'll all kind of look like this. And then I got that. That monstrosity to do over there and I'm gonna put a little bit of dirt in here because Miss Asta wants to put some grass and some trees in there so yeah um, that's about it for the video like I said that brings us right up to date I just want to say a humongous thank you to all you guys for watching if it wasn't for you guys we wouldn't have been able to do any of this me and Mrs. Asta love you guys and we appreciate you guys we love you guys watching liking the videos sharing the videos and we really uh, think it's something special for you guys who have been here since the beginning, since since we basically broke ground on this baby. We love that you guys have been following us along and following the whole build along and are just as excited as we are. We're super excited to show you guys every time there's a build update, all what we've done. We love you guys and we'll see you guys next video.